you beautiful people of the internet. How is everybody doing? Welcome to Guitar Stuff episode number 11. I am at home. It's beautiful fall weather outside. I'm drinking fruit tea out of my Freak Kitchen coffee tea cup. My thumb is still... It's getting better. I said that in the last episode that a lot of you sent me pictures about Oh look Jen, I'm doing it wrong with the holding the guitar pick and the fried shrimp thing. So this is totally what um, inspired me to do this one uh, episode today. I asked friends to send me pictures of their hands and how they hold their guitar pick. So today we're gonna have six guitar players that were nice enough to send me pictures. Henrik Linder just sent me a text. Wait, I gotta say, <laughs> wait. Hi, Cookie. We're reading a text message from Henrik. Hey. Ah, yeah, bummer. Yeah, I was supposed to see Henrik tomorrow um, when he was playing with uh, the Dirty Loops in uh, uh, at the close by, uh, but they had to cancel due to sickness, so... Bummer! All right, so today we're gonna have Hi, Cookie. I mainly want to do this to show all of you that there is no wrong and no right. Everybody does it kind of individually and so you know th there's different aspects you consider when you have your pick hand um, such as the position of your wrist is it like this is it like that is it like that is it like this you know all kinds of like different positions of your wrist for me personally interesting what I learned when I received all these pictures um, the knuckle I can't really show you that but the knuckle of your thumb like here is it like that? Is it like this? Do you use the tip of your index finger or you do do you use the side of it? It's that that's different too, right? That influences the position of your index finger as well. And then of course the other three fingers, are they like loose? Are they like that? Are they like mean little stubby hand or whatever? So these are the things that I am looking at. It's strictly about just how to hold a guitar pick. Has anybody filmed something like that before? <laughs> Let's get started. Uh, guitar player number one is my dear friend, Alan Brentini. Uh, you might know him from my side project, Something on Eleven. Alan and I had been friends for centuries and I asked him to send me the two pictures of him holding the guitar pick, which are those two pictures. All right, so let's take a look. He pretty much angles the pick slightly down. It's not like in a 90 degree angle to the string, so it's slightly down, kind of like what I do. There's another text from Henrik. They were looking into finding a new date. That's good. Um, sorry. He also uses the thumb on top of the side of the index finger, which is kind of what I do. And the rest of the fingers are loose, like, like this, just underneath. And the the hand, the wrist is pretty straight, so that way you have a good control how to mute <laughs> episode number two, I'm just saying, how to proper mute your guitar strings that you don't need, right? Moving on to guitar player number two. How do I do this? Yeah, check out this. It takes a lot of time. What a big surprise. It's Ron Bumblefoot Thal. What I found really interesting, and he was the one guitar player when I started paying attention to this. Hi. Uh, look at the position of his thumb. His thumb is not like a little bit angled up with the knuckle, but down. So I thought that was really interesting. And that was the first time when I started paying attention to this thumb position because I never thought about it. The wrist is straight. This part of your hand has full contact to all of your strings to be able to control. And also the other fingers seem very much like in line and relaxed on, on his hand, which I think is way to go one shall not like have any tension in in these three fingers when you play he has a little ankle to the guitar string so he's not like having the guitar string like this and being all flat but he's got this little ankle thing going on so uh, thank you run moving on guitar player number three here we have mr mike keneally um, for those of you who don't know Mike, I got to know him when I was a kid and I went to see my first G3 show. He was the hat. Yes, yes Cookie, the hat with Steve Vai. And Mike is a fantastic 
multi-instrumentalist and a, just such a great person, such a sweet, great person. Just like all the other people that I'm mentioning here, so. <laughs> He's got the little angled thumb again. You can't really tell about the wrist, but from the position how the hand sits on the strings, I truly believe the wrist is flat as well. But the other fingers are way more ankled. It's more like this than the relaxed, just having them like rounded as like like a continuation of your of your arm. I don't know if he did this on purpose or if he plays like that, because this is like there's tension here in these three fingers, right? But also you can clearly see that he holds the pick with the side of his finger. The one picture shows a little bit more guitar pick sticking out than the other one. So I'm not sure, but uh, thank you very much, Mike, for sending me those two pictures. And by the way, I just want to mention all of these pictures are taken by them for this episode. It's not that I uh, took screenshots of anything. Although Jeff Loomis, when I asked Loomy to send me a picture, he sent me two screenshots of videos of him. I'm like, dude, this is these are screenshots of videos. I could do that myself. I, I want you to take a picture. I don't want you to take a screenshot of a video. Anyway, moving on to the next guitar player. All right, y'all. Here we do have Mr. Jeff Waters. Jeff is famously known um, for being this hardcore right hand rhythm riffing guy, right? That's what people know mostly about him. There's so much more to know about him, but that's mostly what it is. Now look at his hand. It's what I think is interesting is that he keeps contact with the pinky to the guitar, which I do as well, because that way either you, you have your hand relaxed and you have contact with the pinky to the pick guard or the guitar. It gives you control to better understand where the strings are, right? So this part of your hand is, this is the picking part. Those are loose. This one is the contact to the guitar. You can totally see that here, but what strikes me as interesting is that he kind of spreads out the other fingers. So if he's playing, it's, his hand is more like this, rather than just Mike Keneally, who, who did the opposite apparently. His thumb knuckle is ankled a little bit more, I think, than anybody else so far like if this is the string the guitar pick goes a little bit like that which gives you a sharper attack and which definitely influences the tone maybe the open hand is something you'd rather do when it when it's about like stuff like that i don't play like that so I, how would i know <laughs> okay moving on jeff thank you very much moving on to the next guitar player this one is probably my favorite <laughs> I do an episode about how to hold your guitar pick and I asked somebody who doesn't even hold a guitar pick. <laughs> you no, know, I recently went to see the Winery Dogs and I spent some really nice time. I was talking to Richie and I told him about this episode and I said, I would like to have you in this episode as well, just to show people that there is no wrong and no right how to hold your guitar pick. You have to make it work for yourself. And Richie sits across from me and goes like, I don't use a guitar pick. I'm like, exactly. That's why I would like to have you in this. So he's not using a guitar pick, but still you can tell, I mean, he did back in the days, but you still can tell that the position of the hand is kind of the same. The wrist is flat. The thumb is kind of like relaxed and the other fingers are just curly relaxed as well. He does not have a guitar pick. I, I get it, but so, if you choose to play guitar, electric guitar, without using a guitar pick, that's fine! Thank you, Richie. Love you. And uh, moving on to the ultimate last guitar player, okay? Here we go. Yeah, I know, it's very obvious who that is. <laughs> okay, so, Steve Vai. First thing that I noticed, the wrist is very straight and this lower arm part has good contact to the guitar. The hand is pretty much like on the string so you can control the strings that you don't want to have. He uses the side of the index finger, kind of like the fried shrimp that I talked about, and the thumb. But the thumb seems more ankled and what's really interesting is it's almost as if he holds like something. So his his all of his fingers are like tied together. Look at his pinky. Like the pinky in this picture is way different than all the others. He has the contact to the pick guard, right? Like so he attaches it. But 
but different than like let's say me or Ellen he doesn't have like this straight pinky with the contact to the guitar but he has it like ankled those three fingers with the way he holds his guitar pick are different to all the other players which I thought it was interesting. It's almost like as if he holds like a little ping pong ball in his hand. You can totally see and very clearly see the ankle, like when you play the string, it's not like 90 degrees or parallel. There is no learning purpose in this other than do what works for you. Hold your guitar pick the way that you feel comfortable and you can achieve what you want your guitars to sound like. And if you enjoyed this video, please Hit the like button, subscribe, bell, notification, share, and yada, yada, yada. And one last tip. If you decide to cook delicious food, don't forget the dill. See you next week. Hello again. I am always like, hello again. <laughs> you thought you were done. No, you're not. <laughs> now it's, it, look at this. It's, it's night by now. Um, the dill is still here. <laughs> it's what, like five, five and a half hours past I finished filming for this episode. And my cell phone goes like, ping. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I can't finish this episode without, and of course you had to get a special, special, special spot. Um, I can't finish this episode without cookie. Listen, sit here. Um, let's include Ola. Here we go. Most of you know that Ola and I are friends and I asked him to uh, participate in this because when he plays, he has this very like ankle hand position. It's kind of like Cookie, what are you, you like stabbing my eye? What is going on? Why are you staring at me like this? <laughs> like most of us players, contact to the to the guitar, wrist is straight. His his second knuckle of his thumb though is way more out there and up than and again look at look at his thumb. Like the thumb is pretty much flat, like like Bumblefoot's thumb. The thumb. Uh, his second knuckle is more up. Then with the other hands, maybe that's just because his hand looks like that, I don't know. But again, look at the thumb. Just like Bumblefoot, his thumb is like flat instead of like knuckled. Is knuckled even a word? I don't know. Now here comes the interesting part. Look at his uh, index fingertip. It's more ankled like this. Uh. He uses the flat uh, part of his index finger. So he's holding this guitar pick like very willingly in, in, a, in a very hard angle, that part, instead of the side, right? And also what is different with his hand is, uh, if you look at the other fingers that are supposed to just hang in there relaxed, they're like a, like a, like a little fan, like thrrrp. My dear friend Ola England, thank you so much for last minute sending in these pictures and make me work again, although it's in the middle of the night. Like I said, you hold the guitar pick different. And again, let me stress on that. No matter how you guys hold the guitar pick, whether if it's flat or on the side or with your thumb like this or that, it doesn't matter. Even if you go like Richie and don't have a guitar pick at all, it does not matter. You have to make it work for yourself. And if you can achieve what you want to achieve on your instrument, that's the way to go. All right. I'm gonna go sleep now. Good night. <laughs>